Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, today is going to be a book review of Real Happiness, The Power of Meditation. This book is written by Sharon Salzberg and just like a lot of my other books, I bought it on Amazon. I will provide the link below. It is a wonderful book and it's really ironic actually. I have recently been doing a meditation program, I guess you could call it, of it's about 15 to 20 different audio files. What is really ironic about the book is I've actually just started about a month, month and a half ago now, a new meditation program, I guess you could call it. It's about 15 to 20 audio files that are about 40, 45 minutes. And I do about one a week. You can do them at your own pace, but I try to do one a week. And I got to about page 20 or 30 before I realized the words sounded very similar to the program I had been listening to. Um, and I didn't think much of it at first because, you know, meditation and happiness books sort of overlap each other. I took a look at the author, Sharon Salzberg, and then I double-checked the author or the writer of, I guess, the audio files that I had been listening to, and it was Sharon Salzberg. So, I'm really happy and I'm a big advocate of her. Um, didn't know much about her too long ago, um, but anyway, I guess she is a meditation teacher. and. This is a really great book. There's a CD in at the end that sort of complements what you read here. I would suggest if you're interested in meditation, reading first and, and then maybe listening to the tape or the CD in the back. The CD in the back is not the same thing I'm listening to and I have not listened to the CD yet. Uh, for those of you who think meditation is something for yourself or the idea to meditate is to get better at meditating, let me inform you it is not. Meditating is something you do to improve your life, to improve others' lives, and to improve your relationships with the world and its beings around you. It is something that's fascinating. I've tried meditating several times in my life and I had never stuck to a real routine or regimen and there are many types of meditation and I never really got the benefit that I got out of meditating until I started reading and listening to this program and as well as this book. Meditating is something that I now do daily it's something that I do at least 20 minutes a day. I'd actually like to do even more of it. As for the book, I want to tell you, first off, if you're not um, a big believer in it and you need scientific proof, um, there is a page that starts out in the beginning um, that goes through the science of meditation. What they did is they had brain scans via MRI of people's brains and key structures of the brain. Parts of the brain responsible for things such as decision making, memory, emotional flexibility, and they took an MRI of people who meditated and those people who didn't meditate, and I guess before and after. And There's a couple pages in here that talks about it, and it, it basically is proven science that people who meditate have better functionalities in those areas of the brain, have less chronic pain. They are, it can alleviate things such as asthma symptoms, lowers blood pressure. It can lower stress and help people and elderly patients with things such as dementia. The, the benefits and, and what meditation can really do for you are endless. And I think aside from the science needed to back up why I think meditation is good, I, there's almost this inexplicable um, thing that meditation does to you that it sort of doesn't even need science. It's almost better than science. It's actually real life, unexplainable truth. And I can't really explain it. It's something that is stronger than science. I think meditation is extremely powerful and I, I would recommend anyone to try it. I think it strongens or it strengthens the relationships between not only you and yourself and helps you as a person, but it, it, it helps others around you. It's not just a thing for you. The book initially starts out talking about the core meditation, um, which is breathing, and it's really about following the breath. And I know people like to overcomplicate it. It's all about following the breath. You don't have to breathe deep. You don't have to breathe fast. You just breathe. You breathe as you naturally would, and you, you actually start by listening to what's around you and just observing it. And then try to focus on the breath. And as you breathe in and you breathe out, and as thoughts arise, they come and they go, and you might get distracted and you might think about those thoughts and it encourages you to explore those thoughts, think about them, um, ponder them. And once you start to notice that you've been thinking on them, that's when you return to the breath. There's no correct amount of time for how long you should be spending lost in your thought. There is no right or wrong in meditation. A good session is just as good as a bad session. That's really the beginning of meditation and then it goes on to explain other little types of meditations you can do. Ones where you 
uh, walking meditation, for example, where you'll walk and you'll meditate. Loving kindness meditation, where you'll put someone in your thoughts and you'll meditate almost for them. Body scanning meditation, where you sort of feel all the parts of your body and become more in tune with what's going on inside of it how to manage pain better, stress levels, meditating on your thoughts and your feelings and learning how to better cope with them. The last chapter of the book is called How to Keep the Practice Going and it talks about why meditation is important to keep as a practice and why it's important to do it daily. It's just like working out, you know, it's something that you want to do not not once or twice a week, it's something you you want to do daily. It's something that is it gets better over time. I had a person told me that he likes to actually work out or do physical exercise or activity just as much as he works on his mental mind and his mental physical activity. For example, if he were to work out an hour at the gym, he might meditate for an hour um, and he likes to keep that in balance. And I actually think that's a wonderful idea. I think that's, and it's only something that I've recently learned to discover and it's something that's not easy. It's not something that I'm, I'm great at. There are days when I miss meditation. There are days where I feel worse and days where I don't feel like I got as much out of it, uh, but it's something that I try to do daily. I would really encourage anyone that um, is looking to begin meditation. I think this is a great book to start. It simplifies it into a pretty, pretty simple understanding of what meditation is. It's not something, like I said, where you have to breathe crazily deep or do this or do that. It's just observing the breath and the thoughts that come in your mind and how to better handle them throughout your life. And you'll notice your improvements. You'll start to see over the coming weeks and the months after you begin meditation, um, how things improve in your life. And you won't notice it day to day, but you'll look back a week or two later, a month later, and notice that your behavior and your thoughts and where you are in life may have changed where you were from where you were um, just several weeks ago. And I think it's something extremely powerful when it starts just right here with you, you can do it anywhere. You can do it standing in line at the grocery store. You can do it while you're at work. You can do it during lunch. I think it's a good idea to keep a specific routine and try to do it at a set time each day. For example, for me, while I was at work, I would do it at, at lunchtime every day at 12 o'clock. I would get up from my seat, go into an empty quiet room and meditate. But most importantly, you do what's ever comfortable for you. There's no set position. There's no set time. There's no set day. It's just about being there and meditating. It's not meant to be overcomplicated. And I think, again, this book is a great start and I would totally recommend it. So this will be the last book review I do before I go to Thailand. I am leaving in just a couple days and I fully intend to keep on reading while I'm there. And we'll see what kind of pace I keep up. If you guys enjoy my book reviews, I'll be having many more um, along the lines of meditation and happiness in the next coming weeks. I will be continuing to do them. I'll do them from Thailand and South Asia where I'll be uh, the next couple of weeks and months. And if you like them, please subscribe to them and give me a thumbs up, comment, ask questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day.